No idea what's going on with the music. Hold up. <laughs> oh, it finally stopped. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, I don't know why it's doing that. Hold on. Hello, everybody. Oh, that's why. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody won't hear me. Repeating myself over and over. How y'all doing tonight? Yay! How was your day? My day was good. How about you? Awesome. Pretty good. Awesome. It's raining out here, but... Oh my goodness. Yeah. I think, um... Christy was saying that it had been, like, raining in Georgia for, like, four days straight. That's uh, a lot of rain. That's a lot of rain. <laughs> so, you guys, how's the sound? How does Stephanie sound? Is she okay? Hello, everybody. That's saying hello to me. I oh, have my good. Keyboard Denise right got her box. Right back, but, oh, yay. Sounds as good, they said. Okay, awesome. great. Excellent. I think I figured out what was going on Saturday? I mean, it's a little lit. It's a little late for Saturday, but <laughs> 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 at least now it's good. Um, excellent. Yeah, they said I sound good. So compared to Saturday, that's good. Woo! <laughs> I'm happy. I'm thinking if I could like turn it up just a little bit for me. Okay. Hopefully that'll stay the same. Oh, so you guys. Hopefully, tonight, I will be able to finish cutting all of the uh, templates out and putting them in the bags. And so I had a quick question for everybody. Um, I So the next step after cutting all the papers is I'm supposed to then cut all of the fabric pieces that we're going to need. And... I can't really do that down in the basement where all my fabric is because I don't have internet connection down there. Um, so I thought I would ask you what you would want me to do. Um, if you want to watch me cutting the fabric, then I can bring it upstairs and do it here. Um, but if y'all are uninterested in seeing that, then I can do it beforehand and then just move on to the next step. I just thought I would ask you guys, you know, 
is watching me cut fabric something that you really want to see just let me know um because i know already like the paper cutting seems to be a little tedious for people and uh just want to make sure everybody's happy um do 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 okay well we have nancy here ray jean is here tamala's here Stephanie's here. <laughs> MJ must be here because she just said she just said, "Hey, Heather wants to see me cut the fabric." Okay. Okay. Well, the thing is, what's easiest for me? I mean, I just, um, I, you know, if you want to see every step, then I don't mind bringing it up. I just want to know ahead of time. Um, but if it's something that's going to like bore everybody to tears then I would do it before. I mean, so it's it's really up to you guys. Because you know everything I do is just for you. <laughs> October 1st is on Susan's calendar. What's on October 1st? That's a Friday, October isn't it? 1st? Yeah, it's when I release my next project box, the winter box. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Well, you guys, um, I am doing a project box. It's going to be Christmassy. I I mean, um, yeah. So I'm doing one. They are going to be very limited. So I'm just letting y'all know. I learned my lesson with my Halloween box. <laughs> and so I'm just letting everybody know I am I'm keeping them to a you know a set small amount and then whatever. Um and then when they're out, they're out because I'm done. <laughs> um, anyway, so right now I'm in the design phase and um, Steph's helping me out and Christy over at Georgia Sunshine is helping me out just by taking a little peek at stuff and letting me know how it's going. Um, I'm keeping this one small. It's going to be a wall hanging and... Uh, you know, so hopefully, I'm hoping to keep the price down so that, because uh, I know I've been doing like pretty, pretty big projects. And so I'm going to try to, you know, wean myself back a little bit for y'all. Um, okay, so it looks like most people are saying that they uh, want me to cut the fabric. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll so what I'll do is I'll just I'll prepare myself. Tuesdays I don't have anything going. Well, I mean, I don't have anything going. <laughs> I mean, I don't have like a live or anything. So, I can Friday night I can make Jim help me. Um Angela, it's going to be like um confident beginner. I mean, beginner beginner is like I, I'm not going to I probably wouldn't ever do a project box beginner beginner, but it will be a confident beginner. In other words, you'll have to join pieces together um, after sewing. To me, that's confident beginner. And um, I, I'm trying to keep it as simple as, pro as possible without it boring the people who already do <laughs> the paper piecing. So uh, I think you could do it. You could totally do it. Yeah. And if you're on yeah. Piecing It Real, I'm going to be teaching. I can teach you how to do it. It's really, anybody can do it. Um, so that's if what we're going to do. If you're in Piecing It Real now, you'll be able to do it. Yes. For sure. For sure. For sure. Um, okay. So on Tuesday, I will just um, hope Jim will help me to like bring some bolts up. Um, trying to remember how, cause I think I have quite a bit of fabrics. Um, I think this is the list I use. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I have 12 fabrics. That's not that bad. And actually, I don't have to bring them all up at once. So, um, cause there's no way I'm going to be able to cut them all in one night. There's just no way. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just bring a few up and we will get started. 
and then we'll just move along like that. That way I'll just have the few up that I need. Actually, I probably don't even need Jim's help. Because if yeah. I just bring like four or five up, I can I can bring that up. That's not a big deal. Okay, cool. So that's what, hopefully that's where we'll be next week. Um, awesome. We can, get, we can get everything cut tonight, hopefully. All the papers. Okay. Becky says she's the worst Piecing It Real member. She hasn't been able to make a project yet. That's okay. Listen, everybody go at your own pace. Um, I, I think there's no rules about that. Um, obviously, it'd be nice. Angela says she's been a bad founding member. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Y'all are all great. I love all you guys. Um... Especially you founding members who, like, totally helped me to get this off the ground. So, I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, I since I'm, I want to try to get as all this cut, if I can, let's scooch over to the other camera. All right. So, we are still on the D-bags. I'm just going <laughs> to... I know how that sounds, but we're on the D-bags. <laughs> Try to turn that a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm basically now cutting out the, the rest of the template pieces. Uh, all of the other ones are already in the bags that we had cut. So now let's do this one here. Now I've already taken a little peek. I'm going to move my coffee because we know what that what happens with that. Uh, and these are all the same template. So we have four copies of the 620 page. And the first time that I did um, the multiple copies, I did not do anything with them. I just started cutting. Well, I'm going to show you um, from the way that I have started to learn from the Judy Niemeyer Certified Instructor class how it is that Judy wants us to do this. So when you take all of your pages, and the, the way that you know that they're all the same is they'll all have the same big number on it. So this says NP620, and all four of these say NP620. So that's how I know it's exactly the same, and so I can cut them all together. Um, so you want to make sure... that your pieces are all squared up as best you can. I mean, could the paper be any bigger? <laughs> <laughs> all right, now she wants you to use um, like flower flathead pins. I don't have the flower ones, but I do have some tulip pink unicorns, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, oh. I know, right? Now, she would probably want it to be, like, maybe a thinner um, uh, pin because, you know, you just, you don't want to, like, mess. Like, anyways, it really doesn't matter, but it, if you have the thinner ones, um, that's what she prefers. All right, so if you go right to the corner of one of these guys, right to the corner, you want to pick up the first page, stick your needle right in that corner, and then go to the next page and stick it right in that corner. And then the same with the third page. And the fourth. All right, once it's all the way through, kind of make sure they're all lining up. It doesn't seem real happy right now. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Why is it not happy? They're all. I mean, it looks fine. It just feels funky. Okay, so it it looks fine, feels funky. So I'm just gonna go with it. I'm now. I'm just gonna stick it in. Make sure it's doing that. Pages are just so darn big. All right, and then you're going to go to another corner. So I'm going to go down, same piece, but down to the next corner. 
and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the first page and put my pen right down the corner and the second page, the third page. This is killing this wrist, I'll tell you what. Now this and is just so these papers don't move, right? So you can cut them together. Correct, correct. Yeah. It's so that they are all exactly on top of each other like they should be whenever you go and make your cuts. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them one at a time. What she does, what they normally do is they'll pin the whole darn thing and then start cutting. But it's like this thing is so big and I, you know, I, I'm trying to keep it in the camera. Um, so these are basically supposed to be on top of each other. But man, I'll tell you what, they're like crooked. They feel crooked to me, but I put it right in the little hole. So I'm going to just trust it. <laughs> All right, now what she wants you to do next is drop your stapler behind the table that you can't get back there. <laughs> All righty. Well, sh hold on. <laughs> is that in the official instructions? Right, it is. <laughs> This is overkill, guys, but it's all I can find. Okay, so what she wants us to do is then staple it. All right, so I'm just going to put, she wants you to put a few. I'm just going to put a couple because this is like a big, bad mamma jamma stapler here. And then that way... Yes. Diana Diana Franzini wants to know, can you are you can you iron the paper to smooth it out? Um, yes, you can. Um, and you could do it now if you want to, but you're gonna have to fold these up when you put them in the bags anyway. So I would wait till you're gonna start sewing on them and then I would do it. Um, it's really not gonna make that much of a difference right now. Okay, Makes so sense. now, sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. So then you can take the pins out so that you can cut, right? And the pin's not in the way and all of that. So now we're, we're just going to have to pray because, I don't know, it felt kind of crooked to me, but... All right, so she wants you to cut to about um, an eighth of an inch outside the last line. Well, you know what? They are lined up, so I'm not going to worry about it. The pages are just crooked, you know? That's how it yeah. goes. So, so, when you're, so when you're doing that, just remember it could be crooked, and that's okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is this curved part just so I can get it off the page. Oh, you know what? I just remembered I got a smaller rotary cutter. I should pull I that baby out. Which one you were using because I thought you had bought a smaller one. Yeah, I did. I totally forgot. Hold yeah, on, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna do this one and then I'm gonna go get it. Cause hello, that's why I got it. All right, so that one is going to be done. Let me get my other ruler, or my other rotary cutter. All right. So I got a 28 millimeter, um, and I bought a few extra and put them in my shop. So if you want one, uh, I think I probably have like four in there or something, um, just in case anybody wanted one. Um, all right. Ooh, I'm excited. I like new quilty stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? Okay, so here you go. He's a little baby one. Works the same way. Just comes down. 
close it up. Okay. So look, I'm going to do it right on a curve here. Let's work it out. Oh, this is nice. Look how easy that is. Awesome. Okay. So now I'm going to set this one to the side since that went well. Becky said that's the cutest thing. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> I think it's the tiniest one you could get too. And you know me and yeah. this stuff. I like a little stuff. You should see me opening the um, the Tilda box and the Liberty box <laughs> with them, with all the little stuff that Julie puts in there. Oh my gosh, I love it. She does the cutest stuff. Oh my gosh, and just just give me something little. <laughs> Look, go into the store, look at like the little shoes that the babies wear. Come on, give me a break. There ain't <laughs> nothing cuter than little stuff. All right, so I'm on the second page. If I can get it apart, because I don't know, I'm losing my mind right here. And then I'll go, I'll put it in the second one. This actually is easier. I mean, it seems like it's tedious, but it's really not. And compared to um, when I did the last one, they weren't, they didn't stay even. Um, some of them were really close to the line. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. This is what Judy said she wanted us to do. I should just do it her way. Hello. It's her thing. All right. So I got that one and then I'm going to put one on the other side. Oh, uh, Christina Cunningham said little cowboy boots are the cutest. Yeah. OMG. <laughs> Did y'all see them little baby scissors that Julie gave us? I think it's in, it was in uh, a Liberty box. Oh my goodness. I got them over on my shelf over there. Every time I see them, I squeeze. Oh. They're adorable. They really are. Now I want to go find some little baby cowboy boots for Henry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get them for Luke. He would just take them off. I know. Along with the rest of his clothes. <laughs> it's wrong with the rest of his clothes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> clothes are for losers, Mom. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to put a couple staples in. got caught on something, but I guess not. Okay. And now I can take the pins out. And then cut one long side. Oh my gosh, this thing is adorable. <laughs> I got a new toy. <laughs> <laughs> Nita is Sheffler's. Is that like uh, cowboy boots for little ones? Gotta take a look. I don't know. I just gotta peek. Oh, this looks good. Perfect. Okay. If you ever watch a video with uh, Judy doing her like curved 
pieces. She goes like shrink, like she's done. Like holy cow, you know she's done that a lot. I mean, yeah. she's like, <laughs> she makes short work of that sucker. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the other side just because it looks like it's easier to get to for right now. Oh, uh, Becky said she's checking out your new site, and those Halloween prints are adorable. I know. I have to say, I think I have pretty good taste in fabric. I don't know. It's just me. <laughs> uh, Karen Sharp said, Yvette, have you seen the new Tula Pink Solar Flare FPP quilt? Well, it's, I don't think it is FPP. Haven't we had this discussion before? Like everybody thinks it's FPP and you go and look at it and it's EPP. Am I wrong? Please tell me if I'm wrong, because I, I, if she had one, I would, I'd be super stoked, but she's not a big FPP person. Yeah, I knew she was an EPP person, but I have no idea. Let me look it up. Because I don't know why, I just, I think that we've had this discussion before, because I got all excited, <laughs> and I went to look, and then it wasn't FPP. Um, but you go check it out. We'll wait for Steph. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And by the way, Steph has got some pretty awesome stuff in her shop, too. So, oh, go check it out. Yeah, well, we keep getting... I know you and I both keep getting, like, so much stuff. Because everything yeah. was behind. And then we got it, like, all at once. And it makes it... I know it makes it hard on you guys, too. But it's like, you know, here we were waiting for all this stuff. And it finally gets here. And it's like... It's craziness. Yeah. Good. Okay, this is what it says. It says quilt cut and hood solar flare pattern full size foundation templates. See, I think that those are I think those are EPP. Yeah, it doesn't say because I think I went like to FPP. look. Yeah. yeah. All right, I've got a couple of staples in there. Take these out. Denise said she's trying not to buy fabric, but had to have unicorn poop and dragon's breath. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's crazy. I keep telling my, y'all, I know I had this big old heart to heart with y'all about not keeping my shop. I, I just don't know if I could do it, guys. I don't know if I could do it. I'm being honest with you here. It's hard. It's really hard to, because I, I don't know. Dude, if I could just get all of this to start working for me, I would be able to do it all, you know? And that's, that's my problem is I want to do it all. Yeah. I think a lot of people are like that. It's not just me, you know. Um, okay, especially... So I, yeah. I found more instructions. It is foundation paper piecing. It is? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Send me a link, too. Because I want to go now. I want to go get it. <laughs> Obvious. I'm, I'm happy I was wrong. Because if there, she really does have that. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Well, you know me, I'm not as much as a huge Chula Pink fan as you are, but this is really pretty. Is it? Oh, I'm excited. I would be. And she really does EPP, which I wouldn't do. So this is really, really nice. Excellent. Whoever put that note in the thing, I don't remember who did, but thank you. I'm definitely going to go check that out. Everything looks okay. All right, next one. You know, I think that what freaked me out about it when I was watching the instructor do it is that she was putting like, she's putting like four and five pins and it just seemed like it was taking her forever. Mm. I don't think you need to put that many. I think if you do like two corners and then do a couple of staples, you should be fine because it seems to be working out okay for me. And it doesn't seem to be taking that long, so 
and it's coming out a lot better than the way I did it the first time, so I'm liking this. I know I ask this every week, but how many people are actually working on a Judy Niemeyer? Doesn't have to be this one. Um, I know that Netta is working on one, and I think Nita might be working on one, but I know she has a lot of projects and she's trying to fix her house, so she may not have been able to start. Yeah, that's a lot going on. That's a, she, you know what? That girl is busy right now. Yeah. That's a lot, a lot of work. Netta said she'll be happy to learn from your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to watch me first. Nice. <laughs> I don't I blame you. Have a Judy Neiman, but I have oh, sorry. Go ahead. I have one, a Junie Neumeyer kit that I was going to start with you, but I had so many other things going on that I didn't start it, but I want to, I need to catch up. I know. You know what? I think it's, and, and I may, I may find out that I'm wrong about this, but I think that the prep is probably like the most tedious and, you know, kind of crazy part. And for me anyway, so far, I'm finding it easier for me to do the prep without getting really, really annoyed because I'm doing it with you guys. Um, mm -hmm. So it just makes it, you know, it makes it feel more like I'm accomplishing something. I don't know why, but it just does. Probably because it gets broken up. Like, I know I only have to work on it for like, you know, the hour and a half um, every week and that's it. And then mm -hmm. I get to take a break and Oh, and I got my Juicy Juice class coming up this Saturday. Woohoo! That's going to be so, so much fun. Oh my gosh, right? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to wear my cat ears so he'll recognize me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that's awesome. No, you should. That's no, awesome. I will. I'm definitely going to. Because I've, I've met him a couple times, and both times I had cat ears on, so I think I have to have him on, otherwise he won't notice me. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, so, he'll, he's going to know me. <laughs> uh, Delmarine said she's working on a table runner. She started small. Okay, yeah. I think I know the one you're talking about. I've seen that one. Denise said she's not doing a Judy N project. She's sorting through a bunch of stuff she needs to organize. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes that makes you feel really productive. I know for me, anytime I can actually sit and organize stuff, I feel so much better after. I wish I had yeah. more time to do that, you know? Netta said she has her binder put together. She's ready to start cutting paper. She thinks she needs a small rotary cutter after uh, she said it looks better to cut with. So. And it's just plain adorable. Yeah. <laughs> it is cute. MJ said, I don't paper piece yet, but I like hate I just like hanging out with y'all. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Denise said she's organizing because her son is coming home this weekend and his bed is covered mm. with her stuff. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'll see if Juicy Juice lets me uh, take any kind of photos or whatever just to kind of show you guys what's going on. Obviously, I don't want to, um, you know, I mean, we're paying quite a pretty penny for the class, so I'm not going to give away all of his stuff. That's just not right. But um, yeah. I'll definitely, I'm sure he won't mind taking a picture with me. I mean, Lord knows he's already taken enough pictures with me already. What's one Sorry, more? Are you guys working on a project, or what are you doing in the class? Oh, yeah. It's his North Quilt. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, 
So, of course, you know, I sell the pattern. So, I have the pattern already. I, um, I'm i going to cut out all the fabrics. Like I said, I bought some... Um, I bought some of the Kaleidoscope 2021 fabric collection from Allison Glass. And mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to use to make it. Um, where's the... If I'll show you one of the patterns. So this is the quilt that we're making. And this particular one was done with her original kaleidoscope fabric. And that's gonna be Yeah, so I'm beautiful. I'm gonna make it I'm gonna try to get it as close to looking like this as possible, but with her new colors. Mm -hmm. Uh so I'm I'm super stoked. I just need to get mm -hmm. some of this white because she doesn't have white. So I thought that I'm just going to bring a little bit of art gallery. And for that little bitty piece right there should be fine. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. To That's do it. so gorgeous. Yeah. I know. I've been, I've been wanting to do it too because it is such a nice uh, pattern. And um, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to do it and I'll show you guys uh, how it looks whenever I finish making it. If you're interested in it, I sell the pattern in my shop. Obviously, like I just said that. But um, so if you're interested, you can come and I, I will have them. But anyway, I'm excited. I can't wait. I I, I just I want to see him again because look, they went and canceled during quilt market again. And but at least I'll be able to see a couple people that I would love like to have seen there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terry Geyer said she's excited to hear how the Juicy Juice workshop and class goes. Y'all know I'm going to tell y'all. Yep. I'm Nancy, Gus, Nancy Gus says she has a vintage rose she needs to start. Pieces already cut and bagged for four years. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at you've got oh, the worst part practically all done. Yeah. You totally ready, girly. I keep hitting the warped part of my... Oh, and I bought a new cutting mat, guys. I broke down, and I bought one. <laughs> Full price. Because <laughs> I, uh. I needed... You know, this thing is so warped, it's crazy. It's like, every I'll be cutting, and I'm going... I, You know, I'm, I'm going in a straight line, and the thing's going this way because of the warp, and the... <laughs> so I'm like, okay, yeah. I, have to, I have to get another one. <laughs> Um, Dummery said, Yvette, she's, she's, Dummery's working on the Winter Wonderland table runner. I've seen that one. It's cute. Oh, I want to see your progress. Really? I, um, yeah. Are you like, uh, kind of going at the same pace as me so we can work together? Or are you ahead? What are you going to, what are you doing? She says she has the paper cut and placed in bags. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, Kathy's quilts and crafts. She's she came home from rehab today. Awesome. Oh, cool. I'm so glad to hear that you're doing that well, that you were able to come home. That is wonderful. Kathleen said, please hit the thumbs up for Yvette and subscribe. Yes, thank you, Kathleen. Everybody do that. <laughs> you yes. know, it's so funny, like uh once you get to a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube, it just starts, it starts feeling like it's crawling along after that. <laughs> like everything takes forever to get to. <laughs> yeah. But like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not focused on it anymore, but you still notice. I mean, it just, you can't help it. Um, Sonia Weber's wants to know, is there a reason you're trimming so close to the line? Is that like what they tell you to do? Well, they tell you to go an eighth of an inch outside. Um, and honestly, with, with typical um, FPP, you would actually trim on the line. So she does it this way. I'm not really sure why, but she must have her reasons. So I am doing it the way she wants. Um, and she says to go an eighth of an inch outside the line. And uh, one Christina, Cunningham, Christina Cunningham said she's working on a sew sampler box from last year. 
Awesome. Which one? How many um, pages are stacked up there? Four? This is four. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Cecilia. What happened? Um, I think her cousin passed away from the virus and oh. he was only four he was only or she was only forty and mm -hmm. left behind four kids. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Angela said, she's attempting to cross stitch, but we know how that goes when I'm watching a live. <laughs> I just saw that on there. It's cracking up. Uh, Christina said, it was so sampler of May 2020. Okay. can't wait to see this when it's stitched up. Those pieces that you're cutting now are the pattern gorgeous. Yeah. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm excited too. Anne Hunt said she's cross stitching while in a hotel room. She finally has gotten to see her dad and brother after two years. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Oh, they flew in from England to meet them in Halifax. Wow. That's good that they're able to fly in. Yeah. Okay. Oops. So all of those are done. Uh, D5. Okay, there's different places I'm supposed to put them. Three, mm. six, and seven. Okay, so I'm supposed to put... Okay, I'm supposed to put two, four, five, and seven. That's two, four... Five and seven into bag D three. Three and six go into bag four. And 
And I'm just keeping them stapled together just to let y'all know. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, keeps them together, so. All right, now this is NP621, and I think there are two pages, exactly the same. Yes. Now, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it on the last time, but uh, if you look, this part of the page has a number one on it, and so does the other one. You just want to make sure both of the number ones are together, and you want to make sure that both of the number twos are together. So there's a two here and a two on the other side. So you just want to make sure that they're all lining up the same. I don't remember if I said that. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing since they're two exactly the same. We're just going to pin and cut. Um, Becky asked, uh, she said, "Are you, I'm looking at your Halloween panels. Is it best to order a yard cut of them? Yeah, I mean, if you order one, you get one panel. Did I put the price in right? Is that why you're asking that? Because sometimes I mess that up without realizing. <laughs> <laughs> it has been known to happen. I can go fix it if I've messed it up. Pamela said, the cutting is mesmerizing. I should be making binding for a quilt. I got off the long arm. Instead, I'm staring at the TV. It actually is. <laughs> I, when she was cutting that fir those first curve pieces, I was just kind of staring. And I forgot that I was supposed to watch the chat. <laughs> <laughs> this piece here, I'm going to probably try to do three points since it's such a big one. Yeah. I just poked myself with a pin. <laughs> hey, you know, it could have been worse. It's the things you gotta, you gotta like sacrifice whenever you're quilting, you know? You didn't okay. cut your finger off with rotary cutter, so. Yeah, I didn't good. cut the finger off, so it's okay. I've still got my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Nita will be happy. Finger's yep. still intact. <laughs> Oh, Becky said she never ordered them before. She just wanted to make sure she was ordering correctly. Okay, yeah. If you order one, you're going to get a panel. Well, heck. I can't get that close. This thing is like... You'd think it'd have a bigger throat. <laughs> but it does not. I'm trying to get over here. Eek. <laughs> just makes me feel funky to do that. This is all going to be cut off, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Ann Hunt said, I have no idea what paper piecing is, so I'm fascinated, too. All right. It's basically, I mean, you're just sewing fabric onto paper. And um, because you're doing that, I mean, there's a, whole, it, there's a whole lot more to it than just that. But the reason we do it is because it is a much more precise way of getting all your lines straight, getting all your points to come together where you want them to come together. Um, it's just a very precise way of sewing. Is Nita like said, <laughs> Nita said, Yvette, you need some cut prevention training. <laughs> I have not cut myself. No, she hasn't. I was just going to say, she hasn't cut herself. <gasps> I mean, I know there's a first for everything. I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm never going to go by myself. But, you know, I'm trying to be very careful. Yep. Nope, I just got to warp in the cutting mat again. I think it was Angela asking me why I was going crooked. That's why. Because I can't, I have to be able to see where the darn thing is going. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Anne said, does the paper get torn off after sewn then? Yes. That's the fun part of FPP is tearing all the papers off. <laughs> That's what I think too. A lot. Some people don't like doing it, but I like it. To me, it's very cathartic. Yep. Laura said she holds her breath every time you cut a curve. <laughs> Listen, my foot, my finger is like a good inch away from that from the thing. Y'all are probably just so far away you can't tell. My Not finger... Right, but 
not only that, you guys, but she's got fingernails and she's got her nail down, you know, further out than her fingers, so. Yeah. Pamela said she loves tearing the paper off. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> Linda said she likes it. She likes it. She says it's like opening a Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only other thing about this is, man, my eyes are just, my eyes are not good. Yeah. I have a hard time sometimes, like, focusing out. It's very disconcerting. Probably on this one, I'll just kind of, I guess I'll go over here. Mm. This is, these are like such big pieces. I'm thinking I have to like go in the middle or something, but I think it'll be okay. It's hard to know in the middle where it's, you know, hooking up. It's kind of got to be a corner. Otherwise you really mm. don't know. Del Marie said after cutting all that paper, you're going to have to try change your blade. <laughs> I know. Well, what I'll do is I'll just keep this one for cutting the paper for a while. Because that's probably all I'm going to use it for, at least for now. Yeah. Oh, Christina Cunningham said her son and her watch a Martelli salesman cut herself. Must have been at a show or something. That's terrible. Yeah. Laura said, could you press the folds out of the paper with a dry iron? I think Yvette said you could, but then you're going to fold the pieces back up and put them in bags. So, Yeah, and right now, I mean, as long as I'm getting it an eighth of an inch outside, which it doesn't seem like there's a problem with doing that, actually. Um, you don't have to be, like, so precise that, you know. Mm. She said that, oh, yeah, she the lady cut herself pretty badly at the quilt show in Kansas City. Oh. Poor thing. I can't even. You're trying to do a show and then you go in and then you cut yourself. It's it's probably yeah. embarrassing too. I would be embarrassed. Yeah. I'd be embarrassed right now if I cut my finger off. <laughs> <laughs> but I am trying to be very careful. Of course, I'm sure she was too. Yeah. I do actually like my fingers. <laughs> oh. Kathy said about eight months ago, she cut off the tip of her index finger during one of her lives. It hurt so bad. Ow. My Lord. Yeah. Can we talk about some cheerful people? <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's no, like y'all are going to make me cut myself just by talking about these things. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, it's, um, I was thinking about these, um, she has them written on here as TRP. I, I forget what the actual terminology is. I'm sure somebody in the chat will say. Um, but it's like, I noticed that she does them like on the curved areas. And that's, it. I like that. Oh, Delmarie said, I forgot what color your colors you're using for your quilt, Yvette. Um, I'm using the 
Kaleidoscope 2021 from Allison Glass. So they've just come out. And I'm going to put them in my shop. I haven't done it yet. So you'll be able to you'll be able to see them at least. Um, so she had Kaleidoscope. I don't remember what year her original ones came out. Um, but she also has the Kaleidoscope stripes and plaids. And I love the plaids. Um, I thought about using them, but then uh, I kind of wanted to try to get mine as close to how he did his as possible. And he just used the regular Kaleidoscope from her original collection. So that's why I decided I was just going to um, use her new Kaleidoscope line. So um, it'll be mostly like his, but it'll have um, the newer sort of colors. And I did not open that box on camera. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, Tamala said that her husband is looking for a Yorkie puppy. So that's pretty cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> that is cheerful. <laughs> um, I think they might have been asking about what colors you're doing on this quilt that you're cutting out. Oh, duh. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like losing my mind. Um, of course you are, because that's what I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> I'm using art gallery fabrics, and let's see. I'm using, uh, I'm not going to use the actual name because it won't mean anything to a lot of you. So I'm using black, green, blue, yellow, orange, pink. Another blue, purple, um, a teal, a very light pink. Uh, I'm gonna, and then I'm also gonna use two of the oval elements, and one is cookies and cream, and the other one is mist, which is like green. Mm, it's pretty, yeah. Um, my backering, my my backering, <laughs> my backing. <laughs> is going to be Oval Elements Licorice, which is a um, mostly black, and it's got like a like a white oval. Um, but it's got black as the main focus color, whereas the Cookies and Cream is a white focus with a black oval. Um, mm. And then my binding is going to be Oval Elements in Peacock, which is Ooh. a sort of turquoise, a light turquoise color. Ooh, that would be pretty. Yeah, so you guys will see them, obviously, next week. You'll start to see them next week as I start cutting them, so you'll be able to see. Um, so mostly solids, but definitely some of those oval elements. Because um, I started ordering them from my shop, and I just quite honestly fell in love with them. So um, I'm trying to use oval elements on all kinds of stuff now, because they just I just find I love them. I just love them. <laughs> Because they use like such, um, a whole bunch of them are like such bright colors. Like, and you guys know me with the bright colors. So, yeah. Yeah. Steph, did I ever send you um, some of the oval elements? I don't remember. Nope. I'll have to do that. I, you showed them to me, though. They're gorgeous. Yeah, they're really pretty. And, of course, they go yeah. really well with the solids because they're, like, they use, like, the same colors within there. Yeah.
Denise says she loves the Ulva elements too. I'm glad you like them. It's always nice when you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> they are very pretty. And plus they're art gallery, so you know, they're soft as butter. <laughs> yeah. Their stuff. Their stuff is amazing. Uh, Barbara Baker asked if you could show them a piece of the Ova elements. Um, yes. I don't know that I have any right now, though, right here. Let me see. Maybe I do. Yeah, I don't have any upstairs right now. But I will definitely, um, even though I'm not going to be cutting those until later, um, I will bring up one bolt next week so y'all can see it. Because I said, to... do you think you'll be ready? To... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Netta said, do you think you'll be ready to start cutting fabric next week? Well, I'm hoping. What time is it? It is 930. Uh... Well, poopy do. What's that? Ah. You there, Steph? Hold on one sec, guys. We're getting... I'm getting Steph back. I'm trying. Steph, your sound is off. It won't let me turn it on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't even notice it had stopped. <laughs> okay, I got your back. It still shows that your uh, mic is off, though, somehow. It's really weird. It's like she's, I can see that she's there. But it says, it's saying, 
no sound for some reason. <laughs> Stephanie says she's unmuted. She doesn't know where. <laughs> you know, I don't think we can go through, a, like, a week without there being some sort of issue. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is this doing? Nope, that's not it. My microphone seems to be just fine. And... Whoop! <laughs> it keeps doing that same darn thing. Let me try sending you another link. I mean, you're coming through, but let me just see if this works. I'm going to copy it and put it in a new uh, text. Whoop. <laughs> there you are. It still says that you have no sound. It's very weird. And watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, not finish cutting now. <laughs> it still says you have no sound. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Y'all, we might have to just finish up. Um, and Stephanie can just be with y'all in the chat. <laughs> And I've only got these three pieces to cut, so I will just keep looking back and seeing if I see anything that needs to be addressed. <laughs> um, and Steph can still talk to you guys in the chat. It's okay, Steph. Everything's going to be just fine. And then somebody had to go and type in grilled cheese. Really? <laughs> Are y'all mad at me? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. Here I go. Keep going, and I will look up every once in a while to see if y'all have typed something I need to see. This is not going to stop us. We are going to get this thing done. <laughs> You know, anything that's cat approved, Pamela. <laughs> At least you know it's it's cat approved. <laughs> so I try to tell myself. All right, I'm just a cutting. I'm just a cutting fool. That's what I'm doing. Y'all can talk amongst yourselves.
I go an eighth of an inch. I'm like too close to the other one. So I'm going to go in a little bit. Otherwise, the other one doesn't get a whole lot of room. Oh, Stephanie is trying again. We still don't hear you, honey bun. I don't know why. Uh, Netta says she'll be caught up to me by next week. And does she need to get her fabric ordered? Um, yeah, <laughs> if you're going to be, if we're going to be cutting next week, um, yeah, you need to do that. We can, um, like email our message on Facebook after, I don't know if I'll be able to talk tonight. I'm quite busy. Um, but we can definitely figure that out. Smudgy, what are you doing, buddy? That is not Smudgy. That's Spooky Scout. Hey, Scout. What's up, buddy? He likes whenever I have a big pile of fabric over there that he can lay on. And then it takes me like 12 hours to get all of the fur off it. Thankfully, everything that's over there is mine. <laughs> Scout, what are you doing, buddy? Other than driving me nuts, what are you doing? Hoping myself with this pin over here. Ugh. Hi, Teresa Louise. Yes, Netta. We will find some time. You can always talk to me while I'm at work. <laughs> the one where I'm bored at.
All right, one more. Oh, it did say you were in the green room, but I didn't know what that meant, to be honest with you. How do I get you out of the green room? Why is it not showing the picture in picture? Okay, so you just won't be able to see me at the top corner and... Oh! I hear you! Yay! I don't know what I did, honestly. Whatever, I don't know what I did. I touched something. I have no idea. All of a sudden it said, on the air! <laughs> I'm going to have to look into that because I've never, we've never had that happen where it like completely stops my, my yeah. recording. I don't know what happened. Something with my internet, apparently. That's what it said. Yeah. Go figure. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Tristina said this quilt is going to be awesome. I agree. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, I'm excited. I think it will be too. So you're working on two at once, right? Because you're working on this one and the one for your class. Right. I haven't been cutting anything for the class yet, though. I need to I need to do that. I need to catch up, but I've got so much stuff going. It's just crazy, yeah. crazy town over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on personally too, so that's part of the part of the issue. Yeah. But you know, everybody's got it. Everybody's got something, so Linda said, it seems like it's not taking you too long to cut the templates out. No, it's it's actually not that bad once you, and I like the way, I actually do like the way that she does it, uh, as long as you're not, you know, like, just putting way too many pins and everything. I mean, because I, I don't think you need that many. It actually worked out just fine. I have like a million pins. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let me just put these in the bags real quick. D1L. This just says D1 and D2. 
This is D1R like that. Okay, so it says, what was that? Okay. D1R papers go into D1. Oh, that's a D1R. What on God's green earth are you doing? <laughs> what? Why didn't you just ask me to hand that to you? Shh, I'm careful. You're not on camera. You're on the floor. Be careful. Not breaking character, he says. Oh. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm sticking these in here. People are saying, hi, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to keep crawling on the floor so that y'all don't see him. <laughs> the man's a nut ball. Don't let him tell you different. <laughs> He's emptying the trash because it's trash night. So that's what he, uh, why he does this every Wednesday night. Y'all don't ever see him. He's crawling around the floor. Okay. D1L. People, people said, hi, Jim. We don't see you. Karen <laughs> said, thought he was sneaking up on you. <laughs> well, yeah. You scared the poop out of me. <laughs> I just saw his little hand pushed his basket towards you. <laughs> you. You saw a little hand? Okay. I won't tell him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too late. He's been spotted, they said. Right. They saw too. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and then it says D1. Okay, so Sonia said, do you have a bag for every block? So do you want to explain how the bags work? Um. Okay, so you, you don't have a bag for every block. You have, like, each section is going to have um, a certain amount of bags. Sometimes you'll have, I mean, it depends on the on what you're making. Some of them, from what I understand, can go up to like, you know, 12 or 20 bags. I mean, depending on what it is. Some of them have one bag. Um, so it really just, they break it into units. And then that's how you you know, that's how you do the bags. And so this particular unit, this is group D, it's got five bags. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I think that these T templates are gonna go into bag five. It is 956. <laughs> okay, let me just figure out what this is real quick. This says it is a quilt assembly graphic. Okay, so I see what it I see what it looks like. Let me see if there's something in here that talks about that. Okay, so it looks like uh, when I get to the last page here, there's uh, a section that's called Quilt Assembly. And there are different numbers. So Assembly Graphic 1 says the pieces in groups A, B, C, and D are arranged on a design wall. And number 1 is... is that guy right there. And so you're supposed to take all your pieces and put them on a design wall. Assembly graphic two says, join the two halves of the D group 
if you have not done so already. Press the seams in a counterclockwise direction on the, on the back, clockwise on the front. Um, so that's this guy, and they're basically talking about these top pieces here. And so, uh, in this direction, when you're looking at it from here, it would be clockwise. So that when you flip it over and you're actually um, looking at the back, they would be going like counterclockwise. Um, and so on and so forth. So basically, these sheets, we're just supposed to look at them. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think whenever uh, I was in the class, we just kind of took one, uh, each one, and we cut them out. And then you can put them in your book. Um, so I'll probably take what I have here and scooch it back um, to make room for so that I can look at all of the graphics one at a time, like behind that page. Um, so that's what these are for. This is for assembling your quilt at the end. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like by some, you, I don't know, how did we time this so well? I'm and done. You did perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and just cut these out and put them in the book, you know, separately. I don't think you need to watch me cut out a, a graphic. That's just kind of crazy. Um, I can, I mean, I could do it with you guys, but you know, it just seems kind of pointless because I can just next time come back and we will start cutting the fabric and we will do that using, um, the pages that I have from Quiltster. So, um, if you are going to make a Judy Niemeyer quilt, um, maybe not so much for the, um, I can probably come back over here. Maybe not so much for, um, the, like a table runner, because probably, you know, you, it, there's not as much to it as the others. Um, so, but if you're making a quilt, I really do recommend that you go into Quiltster because, um, you can put all of your fabrics in the pattern itself. And then once you do that, you have all these printouts that will tell you how much of each fabric to cut and it's all laid out for you. So I just find that it, you know, for $20 a month, which really you only have to, it's not going to take you a month to design this. So you can just go month to month, do the one quilt and cancel it if you want. Um, I mean, I'm sure that's not what she would encourage you to do. I apologize, Judy, but you know, some people can't afford $20 a month all the time. Um, so that's just something you can do is you can just go in for a month, do what you got to do, print all your stuff out, and then you can, um, leave until you're ready to make your next one. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so if anybody has any questions, I will answer them very, very, very quickly. Otherwise, um, I think I'll go until next week, and I will see you guys next week with the cutting of the fabric, or at least the first step of the cutting of the fabric, because believe me, it's not just one. So, and I will have my new cutting mat by then, so my fabric won't go all wonky. Yay. Let's hope anyway. I need to, I need to take a plunge too, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just decided, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Just going to do it. Because this thing is so warped. It's so, it's not even funny. And it's so worn out, like, uh, on the surface because I've been using it for so long. And the warped yeah. part, what happened was I was making videos, um, like training videos, and I... I was putting, I know y'all are all going to be like, oh, that's so stupid. I know. I know it was stupid. I just wasn't thinking at the time. But I took my wool mat and I set it down on the, I had like, I had a, a cutting tape thing under it, but then I had the wool mat and then I ironed on it. And yeah, I never should have done that because then it warped my, it, it warped it. Uh -huh. so, yeah. yeah. So that's what happened. Um. So I have a new mat coming. I think I'm getting it tomorrow, actually. And I'm kind of excited about it, but, you know, it's a lot of money. <laughs> They're expensive. <laughs> um, so, anywho, um, 
everyone's saying toodles so i'll say toodles back and i'll see y'all next week thanks so much for coming thank you so much for uh stephanie for moderating for me i appreciate it and we'll see y'all next week Mwah. bye <laughs>